Hello, I'm Michael Vandal, and I'm here to tell you about the new, depraved, senseless craze that's sweeping out Brisbane. It's worse than crack, acid, heroin, and lighter fuel, all mixed up and quaffed through a funnel. Oh yes, I'm talking about Prolos. Polos are everywhere. Your daughter's doing it. Your son's doing it. Your fish is doing it. Everyone around you can take me be a polo addict. And it's not just Everestrith. The problem is running rampant throughout the whole entire UK, and indeed the rest of the world. The kinds of polos on the streets today. Peppermint, spearmint, sugar-free, and the other one. But what they all have in common- ooh, fruity! But what they all have in common is the same effect. Death. <laughs> and minty breath. Welcome to a polo den. The stench of mint hangs in the air like a man fresh from the dentist. Some eat the drug. Some prefer to dissolve it in the mouth. Rush. And some prefer to use it in a fashion similar to cocaine. By grinding the drug into a powder and snorting it like an aardvark. People use polos because it gives them a euphoric high, which the polo community refers to as freshening up, minting, or holing. Boredom Killers News spoke to one addict whose identity is disclosed. Sometimes I'll just buy like 12 packs of polos at a time and that's enough to keep you fresh for like two days. It just feels really good, I guess. Polos, once a perfectly innocent green tea sweet, were made illegal in 2010. That is, in every country except France, Wales, Switzerland and countries that as of yet are undiscovered. This was after an increase of their minty potency which made the polos extremely addictive and highly dangerous. Despite this, 20 million polos are still produced in Britain every day. That's 32,000 a minute. They were originally synthesised in 1948 and were advertised on television sets around the country as seen here. refreshment, polos never had any serious competition. It was only after the creator's decision to make the polos more minty that things took a turn for the worst. Overdoses ran rampant, and as millions of kids began to die, and that number doubles with each passing second, the Nestle founder had this to say. But I, I don't really see what the problem- What a bastard! So is it any wonder that people are afraid of polos destroying their community? And these aren't the only reasons that polos are such a massive threat to our society. Their effects can also be visible and highly unpleasant. Gordon Crowley entered the manufacturing of polos in the late 1950s. In his old age, his prolonged use of polos has transformed his head into what resembles a giant polo. So addicted to the drug and now unable to find work elsewhere, Crowley has become a major player in the polo trade. Boredom Killers News can reveal that major dealers such as Crowley have sources in Philistan, Livania, the moon, and Tijuk Labia, transporting the mass of Puelo drugs by using submarines camouflaged to look like seagulls. Welsh rednecks then attract these submarines using a mating call, which the submarine responds to. Once on land, the seagull is then taken to a secret location where the drugs are extracted and prepared for large-scale distribution. Vigilantes have also tried to end polar abuse. Hey you, stop! So the law won't help to warn people of the dangers. But are the public aware of the drug's massive impact? Uh, are you addicted to the minty hit of polos, the killer craze that's sweeping Aberystwyth? No. You're not? No. Okay. Do you enjoy minting? Pardon? Minting. Are you addicted to the minty hit of polos, the killer craze that's sweeping Aberystwyth? No. Do you enjoy minting? What the heck is minting? Do you enjoy minting? <laughs> yeah. And now we go to the weather report with Carl Boner. It's raining. Today. Nearby town Aberaeron has already learned the dangers of polo abuse and were able to ban polos under a town council ruling. And what we see now is a happier town, completely polo free. Hey man. <coughs> so do your bit to end polo addiction in Aberystwyth. 
Tell your family, tell your friends, grab a random stranger by the shoulders and tell them this. Quonos is shit, sister. I've been Michael Randall. This has been a Borden Killers News Team special report. Good night. Da-da-da-da! <laughs> <laughs>